Well, today is the first day of spring. The March equinox happens at 524 this evening and is the astronomical beginning of the spring season in the northern hemisphere and, of course, the autumn season in the southern hemisphere. So for more on the changing of the seasons, we're joined this afternoon by Jeff Colson, meteorologist with Environment Canada. So spring's arrived, Jeff, but that doesn't mean winter is really over for southern Ontario, does it? No, unfortunately, I had better. I wish I had better news in, in that regard. But uh, while spring does officially arrive, as you said, later on this afternoon, the, the winter-like weather is likely going to continue for the next seven to ten days. Jeff, what Jeff. can we expect though this spring? I know you, uh, you, you know, meteorologist in Miami County, you look ahead at these sorts of things. How is this spring shaping up? With, of course, I realize this coming Saturday could be a little bit of a different scenario. Right. Well, the near-term forecast, at least, is for conditions to be a little cooler than normal, and that is going to have an impact on the type of precipitation that we could get. Uh, more potential mixes of, of rain and snow in the coming days. Uh, and a good example of that is the storm system approaching us for Saturday. Right now, it looks like it could begin as snow and give us uh, some centimeters of accumulation and then change over to rain. Uh, but a lot could change with a slight difference in that storm track. Jeff, it's been an interesting winter. And of course, we're still in winter, so I can say that. But really, it felt like, you know, we kind of got away with something, you know, through January and February. And then suddenly, late February, early March, we suddenly got the snow. Has this winter been a little bit out of the norm? Yeah, I think you're exactly right. It's kind of been a, a back-end loaded winter. I, I've had neighbors come up to me that are sort of crossing days off their calendar. We got through January okay. We got through February okay. And then, as you said, March arrived, and it's been colder than normal. It's been a lot snowier than normal. Uh, and it is still. I mean, we look out in many areas in the GTA, lots of snow still on the ground left over from those earlier snowfalls this month. Yeah, no doubt about that. And, you know, the equinox here, you know, as, as we sort of change into the, you know, the, the spring season, that brings with it, you know, we, we've been showing some images of blossoms. And, you know, we've already seen in B.C. it's already started. In D.C. it started as well. What's the sort of time period when we can start to expect to maybe see things start growing around here uh, as we think about, you know, thinking ahead to spring gardens and things like that? Yeah, and I think given our spring forecast, it's going to be a bit of a slower start this spring uh, with uh, somewhat cooler than normal temperatures. Uh, we've got all this snow on the ground to take care of over the course of the, uh, the next couple of weeks. I think it's probably going to be more well into uh, April before we really start to see uh, spring-like conditions occurring. And, and that's really shown by where our average temperatures are by mid-April. Uh, normal daytime highs about 11 degrees, overnight lows about 1 degree. We really start to get into those warmer conditions in that second half of April. Right. And let's talk just back to Saturday again for a second, Jeff, here, because, you know, again, it sounds like it's, it's, it seems the pattern is end of the week or sort of into the weekend. We're starting to see these systems here. You talked about rain then mixed with snow. Is there any concern that there could also be some freezing in around that or could the rain potentially clear the snow, that, the fresh snow anyway, that we get? Yeah. No, there is that definitely that concern. Uh, it looks like it could begin as snow in, in the Toronto area early Saturday morning. Uh, we could see a brief period of freezing rain and then a transition into straight rain as the temperatures climb up to five or six degrees Celsius. That's really the early look right now. Uh, as we get closer to Saturday, we'll have a better sense of the track of the system. And we may, in fact, start seeing special weather statements or winter travel advisories being issued towards the end of the work week just to give folks that extra bit of heads up about what we could see on Saturday. It really is wild swings right about now, isn't it? It most definitely is. I mean, we can be looking at still some pretty chilly temperatures, but we're also going to start seeing some double-digit highs. Thursday, we're expecting a high of 12 degrees, uh, albeit with some showers in the forecast. Right, so that could maybe eliminate some of the snow that's still piled up in front of so many driveways and snowbanks and sidewalks all across the GTA. Listen, Jeff Colson, always good to chat with you about the weather. Meteorologist with Environment Canada, thanks for giving us a preview, not only of what we could see Saturday, but, of course, as the season changes at 524 this evening. Thanks for the time. Thanks for having me. Okay.